Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the tutorial of wool chandelier which gives aesthetic look to any corner of the house where it is being placed. I welcome you all again to my channel the Casa Diaries. So I'll start by taking these three embroidery rings of different sizes and start wrapping these wooden rings with the macrame thread or wool whatever is available with you. Make sure to secure the end with the glue or favicol. Next is to make the tassels. For that we just need any shopping card, any card, uh, debit or credit card. Start wrapping the wool around. So I have counted the 40 rounds for each tassel. It is very important to keep the track of the rounds to give it a similar look. drag it out tie it with the thread like this the thread should be long enough so that we can just add the beads and after that we have to hang it also so take a long thread to tie it cut it from the other end like this See our tassel is now ready, next is to add the beads. You can also use the needle in case you wanted to but in my case the bead was wide enough that I didn't need a needle. Tassels are ready now. So making tassel is very easy but job because we have to make a number like we really need a number here to make a chandelier. For each ring like a larger ring I need 50 to 60 tassels and for the like that for each ring we need 50 to 60 tassels depending on the on the size of the ring and how dense the more dense you will add the tassel the more beautiful the chandelier will look now here we have the tassels we have the ring wrapped with the wool or macrame thread whatever is available with you now i am just start adding it around and uh, starting adding it around and uh, like this and uh, also the gap between the each tassel should be similar you know also after uh, first I have added a knot and then I have make sure that all the ends of the thread should be secure with the glue gun We have to repeat the same process for all the three rings. So wrap the ring around with the wool and then add the tassels to it and cut the uneven edges of the tassel to make it look, you know, with the symmetry for the symmetry what we needed here. And uh, now the three rings are ready. I will start adding now that since we have the rings ready, now I have to tie these three rings together, keeping in mind that between the each ring I have to keep the difference 10 to 15 centimeters like this and then I'm going to tie it with one thread at the four corners of each ring I'm going to see our chandelier is all ready just we have to add light and it's all set for a beautiful corner Hope you like it. I hope you like the video. Thank you so much everybody for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe.